Now we're back with uh, more Laura Boater. Yay. Uh, we just discovered Ziggy's head. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. There's actually one more thing we can do with Ziggy's head. Hmm. Oh. Yes. Uh, you don't Laura. want to have evidence, so you leave it where it is. Even though you've just put it on the floor. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Ziggy's head. So, Ziggy has died. This is not Steve mm -hmm. Dorian, although, yes, I do think they're quite clever making sure you can't see his shoes. Yes. I um, mm -hmm. think we need to go off to the other side of the uh, the place. The place. Oh, the place. Do we? And, yeah, well, yeah, because everyone else is over this way, I believe. Including oh. these lovely... Because we couldn't come here during Act 2 because Wolf was here. Um, right. But, oh, yeah... Here's some sweet paintings, but, you know, oh, yeah. Uh, mm, these sexy paintings are all paintings. fine, but the main thing to notice is when you touch the painting, you smear a bit of paint off. It's still Slight, damp. still damp. Oh. Which, considering these are all supposed to be old classics, no. Oh, and there's there's something sparkling in that one. Yes, yes, there is. <gasps> right there. Which is why we have this lovely thing. It's a key. <laughs> it's a key. Jeepers. This shiny key on the painting even feels real, probably because it is. Although you have a natural attraction to shiny objects, this one is firmly attached to the painting and obviously can't be removed by hand. We have to find something for that later. Unless I have something now, but I don't think so. No, I don't. Oh, so we can't take it yet. No, but but we know it's there mm -hmm. now. Um, mm -hmm. We should be able to see who's in here. Oh, you hear muffled voices coming <gasps> through your bed's office. Oh. oh, the door's locked. <laughs> well, we but have our glass. We have a glass, and we can we can find out things. Oh, thank you for coming to see me, Olympia. It is very nice of you. You're very welcome, dear girl. What can I do for you? Oh, you see, I found this strange bone, and I said to myself, Yvette, if anyone can tell you what this is, it would be Olympia. A bone, mm. you say? How fascinating. Where did you find it? I found it right here in the museum. Here it is, Doctor. Now, let me see. <laughs> you vet, you silly girl. This is a chicken bone. It is? Oh. Yes, of course. Why, it's still greasy. You got this at dinner, didn't you? <laughs> oh, you caught me, Olympia. I was playing the little joke on you. <laughs> You're a funny girl, you vet, but I'm... Quite fond of you. No. Olivia, we are the good friends, no? I have the problem I wish to talk to you about. Oh, certainly. What is it? Come closer so I can whisper it to you. It is very personal and I... I don't want no one to hear. C-H. Oh, 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 my. Oh, my. Oh, my! I got C-H. Yes, the itch. <laughs> They're probably like, who's trying to come in here? <laughs> Anything more? No. Well, Olympia's nope. office is down here, so we'll just have a quick little uh, pick a boozy. Ooh. A number of hieroglyphs are carefully drawn on the board. There's quite a long message here that needs to be deciphered. Uh, mm hmm. I think we can do this. Oh, hang on. No, no, no. There is a Rosetta Stone. So oh, here it is. Been a while since I played this act. It's half of the stone. Don't touch it. You don't know where it's been. And as you can see, these have lovely letters underneath them. And between mm -hmm. episodes, I'm going to go and find my written down version of this. So I don't need to, you know, mm -hmm. really uh, make a note of this now. But uh, it's important to know that because you can start deciphering this and you can also work out the rest of the letters from that by working out from the context. Uh, there is something here on... There's snake oil. Snake oil. The bottle says, Professor Abdul Mahumud's guaranteed snake oil. And... Oh. Oh. And Olympia's oh. back. <clears throat> oh dear. <laughs> Good evening, Miss Bell. Oh, you startled me. 
good. It gets the blood flowing, doesn't it? Just like that other thing I just did. Well, I, I suppose so. I see you were looking at my snake oil. Well, I was just looking around. I'm sure you meant no harm. W what's the snake oil for, anyway? It repels snakes, of course. Comes in handy when I'm working in the basement. I lost a load of Egyptian cobras down there a few weeks ago, and I occasionally come across one of the little darlings. Those snakes always want to bite me, but I'm i am sure they don't mean anything by it. It's, it's just their way. They get rather nerv uh, nervous, very easily, you know. Normally, I love to watch them kill things. My body will sink his teeth into anything he can get them on. Charming. <laughs> Well, I'd love to chat some more, but I've got to rush off and meet that Steve fellow. He promised to show me his scars. See you later. Uh, oh, oh, dear. Steve still here? No. Oh! <laughs> oh! Oh, my! I, ne I, I seriously never knew that. Oh. The oh. problem is, I died! Because I I don't have anything to light up my world. Oh. In the darkness of the secret passage, you're as blind as a bat. Your brave but brief battle during which you endure a battering of a berserk and bellicose, bellicose black bats without battering an eye. Then your eye, bothered by the bloody bites, becomes bereft of life. And, oh my God! Uh, so many bees. And unfortunately, we haven't saved for a while. <laughs> Um, oh no! But I am just gonna see because uh, see if what happens if we went the other way, you know? Uh, if we didn't trigger that other. Oh look, cause look, here's the countess. Aha! Uh -huh. Please, my dear, we must keep our hands to ourselves, shall we? Decorum, my dear. Decorum is the order of the day. Oh, I say, Melania, please be so kind as to let me let me alone. Mm -hmm. I do not appreciate being mauled by people I barely know. Don't touch me. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Cutter's demise was truly a loss to us all, despite his pushy, overinflated, headline-grabbing ego. At least he completed his work on the, Egypt on the ancient Egypt exhibit before he passed on. Dedicated chap, I'll say that for him. Mm-hmm. Any idea who might want to have killed him? The man hurt enemies crawling out of the woodwork, Miss Bow. Uh, practically everyone's a suspect, if you ask me. Everyone? Including you? Of course not. Well, perhaps I should say everyone except myself. Since I was at a fundraising event from when Dr. Carter was taken from us. Terrible thing, really. Terrible. Gonna True. About it as well. He was a rather good looking fellow, don't you think? Of course, I was at the party when he died, surrounded by witnesses, but I've already told Mr. Riley about all that. Yeah. Oh dear. I find Bones quite distressing, Miss Bone. M M Miss Bow. Miss Bone. Did see, this room has terrified me. Laura Bone. Why, isn't that one of those dull little Egyptian thingies? <laughs> thingies. Oh, I'm sure there's nothing next on that to concern us, Miss Bow. <laughs> so let's consider this an alternate reality. <laughs> wow, she just no. saunters. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I, wa I want to ask you about my bone. <laughs> Oh, we have many exciting paleontologists. Paleontological specimens here, Miss Bo. <laughs> Doctor, Doctor Mikos, if you're interested in learning more. Not me. Goodbye. Ah, yes, I see. You'll see that symbol throughout our Egyptian, Egyptian exhibit. It seems to be a staple of ancient Egyptian theology and philosophy. Yes. I am now around the corner. <laughs> oh. oh, why is he standing there? 
Miss Bow, I read for pleasure. I can't imagine Dr. Cotter would possibly have written anything personal that I would find the least bit interesting. Why was he standing here, you say? You might notice there's a bit of a, uh, a gap here. Mm-hmm, yeah. Mm -hmm. Although he hasn't opened it, so at the same time it's like, yeah, what are you doing? You're just, you're just standing here, man. Just Does he know it's there? Maybe oh, yeah. It doesn't. It's, it's the way downstairs. <gasps> Who could be in Yvette's room now? Oh, no. It, it, it's Olympia again. Is yeah. it? Mmm. Yeah. Olympia. Okay, I well, can't see. Uh, hey, buddy. I love how he's moving like slightly bent forwards. <laughs> he's an old man. All right, let's just trigger this bit so we can... Yep. Mm. What is that snake oil for? I love drinking it, Miss Bo. <laughs> I drink it, it it's in my blood. It oils me from the inside out. I'm just gonna save. <laughs> boom. Boom, 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 boom. Um, what, what about the, uh, the, the, the dead bodies? Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna pick him up between episodes. Oh, okay. Because we need those. We need the bodies. Mm. I'm trying to remember there is a way that you can write it down, but I can't remember. It's been too long. Let's have a look at Barney. This cage Aww. is meant to hold Barney, Olympia's Egyptian cobra. Cute. Don't touch it, you don't know where it's been! He doesn't talk to you. I can tell you where it's been, Laura, in Egypt. Oh, it's a stuffed rat. <laughs> Let's see if we can go in, um, into Olympia's... Oh, 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 oh. there she is, there oh. she is. Oh! And it made its way, because look. And it even paused. It paused enough. Oh! And it shows you that the, the head can be opened. Ding dong! But really, it, it should have been open when uh, she was here. Ooh. Oh no! Psst. The light bulb blew out, so we uh, we can't actually go down there, otherwise we will die. So we first gotta get a light source. Gotta get a light bulb, yeah. Um, what a shame Olympia's not here, but oh yeah. Ba -da -da. You touch the incredibly hot desk desk lamp and take the bulb oh, from it. It's it's even though it's cooling, it's still oh. too hot to handle. Mm, but I will take like this some our... carbon paper. You pick it up and put it in your pocket. But purse. You don't need to type anything, and you don't care about any of this stuff. But maybe you should take these. <laughs> yes. And one thing to note right now is that nothing has happened yet. Oh, it's a diploma with Yvette de la Croix's name on it. An advanced degree in French from Ball State University, to be exact. Quite odd for a French woman to have a degree in French, if you understand my meaning. Hmm. Perhaps you said. Ooh. <gasps> you hear muffled voices in Yvette's office. We are now stuck oh in my. here forever. Come a little closer, Monsieur Nigir. I want to show you something. What would that be, Miss Delacroix? Look at the palm of my hand. It's a lovely palm to be sure, but what am I supposed to see? You see this line, Monsieur. It is my love lamp. You can call me up on it all the time. Good lord, Miss Delacroix. It goes right up your arm and happens disappears up your sleeve. Good heavens. Would you like to see where it ends up? Crampses. I'm, I, I, I will, um, uh. Have you ever been to Paris, Ramses? No, I can't say I ever have. Then you've never seen the Eiffel Tower. Well, by all means, let me show you. Mr. the Quartz, please, I'm a mar married man. Oh, 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 dear. 
Have you forgotten who let you into the museum, Ramses? Have you forgotten who showed you the secret rooms? We are little ceremonies. You haven't, have you? No, I haven't, but... Then you let me give you the grand tour of the tower, no? <laughs> we have to go somewhere else. I don't feel safe here. This way, monsieur. Ugh. Ooh. Little ceremonies. Little deaths. Mm -hmm. Little deaths. <laughs> if you know what I mean by that. Um, the little death. But we're going to cut this episode here and come back next time with more Laura Boo to the Dagger of Omen Umbrella. Uh, oh, Omen Umbrella. <laughs> Omen Umbrella. I have not quite forgotten the umbrella line because that just happened tonight. So, yeah. See you guys next time, buddy. Bye. Bye.